The sun is rising over India, and it's changing fast from a third world nation to a developing nation. Many factors are behind this development, but the single and most important factor is the recent economic reforms. This has not only encouraged local companies to grow, but also multinationals to set up in India in order to explore the ever-growing Indian market. Companies that want to develop products for the global markets need to understand each one of these markets. Who are the customers? What do they want? And what are they prepared to pay for it? Some people argue that to be successful in the Indian market, you have to have a presence in that market. And development has to be bottom-up, uh, with knowledge of the local requirements so that the customer gets exactly what he wants rather than offering a stripped down version of a product developed for the Western world. The key to success is to develop a product specifically meeting the Indian customer's requirements. Several companies have done just that. An example is GE, who has been present in the Indian market for many years and has set up a research and development center employing nearly 3,000 scientists. And the Mac 400 portable ECG will serve as an example of a product that was developed towards customer requirements specific to the Indian market. Hi, uh, my name is Manish Makija. I lead the technology team for G Healthcare in India. And we're sitting here at the John F. Welch Technology Center in Bangalore. Specifically, we're in the building where our healthcare team is situated. It's about 1,300 people that work on uh, innovations in healthcare, uh, both for emerging markets as well as for, for diverse markets globally. So what I want to talk about today is uh, um, a product, an innovation that uh, G Healthcare worked on over the last uh, couple of years in the area of cardiac screening. So we are here in the, uh, in the lab where we do a lot of the design work, the testing, the development work. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is uh, how we actually conceived of this product. 70% uh, of India lives in parts of the country where there's not access to 24-hour power. There may not be any cardiologists. Uh, they're really, uh, it's a rural environment. And so uh, when you think about screening for cardiac disease, uh, typically we used to use products such as this. This is the Mac 5500. Uh, it is, as you can see, a fairly large product. It's pretty complicated. It requires power, requires uh, you know, a trained technician, a cardiologist to interpret disease. And it's not something we could take into the environment that, uh, that we needed to go. We really needed to think about taking something like this and shrinking it to something that would fit in a backpack. Uh, the Mac 400 is what we came up with. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, an ECG machine, um, very much akin to this one, uh, does a lot of what this does, but also customizes in a way for the workflow that we would encounter within a rural setting. Quality wise, uh, this does as good of an ECG readout as this one. Uh, it may use fewer leads because we're using it more for screening rather than for diagnosis, uh, but uh, it runs on battery. In a, in a single charge, we're able to, uh, in a three hour charge, we're able to take about 500 ECGs. We modified basically cell phone charging technology to bring that down to a cost point that, that we could afford that would work in an environment where, where power supply was not steady. Uh, we also looked at this printer to, to actually print the ECG. And we essentially um, are reusing the printer that's used to print bus tickets in rural India. And uh, this gives us uh, capability to actually not only make it more robust for the environment, but also leverage spare parts, you know, leverage things that, uh, that are e more easily available in that, in that particular location. You know, the operation of the machine needs to be really simple. On, off, one button ECG, print out, uh, something that can be easily interpreted. The cost of a single ECG for using this machine is about nine Indian rupees compared to uh, you know, larger machines like this where it can exceed 100 Indian rupees. Um, we sell this machine for 25,000 Indian rupees, which is uh, a factor of uh, 10 uh, reduction from here. I think some of the things that the team really benefited from were uh, innovation close to the market, being where these challenges are, uh, looking at uh, not just taking high-end technology and scaling it down, but the reverse, starting with what you really need and then adopting from the high-end uh, what makes sense and adopting from elsewhere uh, what, what we can leverage, as well as still keeping true to the high-end quality 
of systems that we've developed over the years at GE. What we're actually seeing is, while, uh, while, we, while we built this to meet the needs in India, we're actually seeing uh, equal, if not greater demand outside of India for machines like this because in some, in some sense uh, we're all faced with uh, similar challenges when we look at healthcare systems globally. Companies that develop products for the global market needs to understand each one of these markets. Who is the customer? What do they want? And what are they prepared to pay for it? Some people argue that to become successful in the Indian market you have to be present in that market. GE is one company that has gone down this way and many others have followed. So where does this leave us? Uh, do we have the capability to learn from this and to adjust to this ever-changing scene?